Here we are. So this is it. Tomorrow, the great fuckery of my time begins. I'm fucking sick. I've to fucking steal chicken nibblies and fucking groceries and two dollar shirts. I know I tried to do even the right thing by that, but fuck that. So tomorrow is the day where I've given myself an ultimatum. It's when I will start making a lot of money. Now, I'm, when I mean a lot of money, I mean a lot of money by my standards, not by <laughs> not by the common person standards. For me, a lot of money is 400, 500 bucks a week. So that's it. I've got to draw the line somewhere. I'm just fucking sick of it. Fuck that. I mean, I'm not going to say it's no way to exist because I fucking love every bit of my life at the moment and I don't want it to change. It's the best fun I've ever had, the best life ever. Just not the stealing fucking lettuce and food bit. I don't like that. I hate it. So. <laughs> it's groceries and Audi and Nathan's doll. I've got three blow up mattresses. So every time I fucking kit a place, someone after a couple of weeks takes the fucking bed, pops it, does something stupid. So I've, I'm only down to two mattresses again. I had like fucking nine. All, to, all, all together, I've had nine. At one stage, I had about four or five up, so it was sweet. And people just keep nicking them. I mean, it is their property, but fuck. So that's it. I said, no, I'm not going to buy one more. I'm going to buy three more. And I'm going haywire. I'm just going to kit out every place I know that's suitable. I've got about three here. There's one. So that's four. Three, or two or three at the Cracker House. So there's, three, let's just say at most seven. Another two elsewhere. So I've got about nine altogether at the moment. So if I spread them, it'd be sweet for a few months, if not a year. By the way, I'm rolling. So, I'm hoping that tonight's the last night I fucking have to steal fucking food. I fucking hate it. Celebrating that occasion and style. The end of an era. With pizza. So I've gone to this great place again. Rosso Cavallino. I liked it that much in terms of its freshness. I want to inspect its other pizzas. Because what happens with places that make really fresh pizza. And I'm telling you. This is of the freshest I've ever had. Sometimes, that the, even though their other pizza may be rated, well, by my rating, a 6 out of 10 in taste, that could just be because of the pizza itself. Because if the freshness is an 8 out of 10, which is ridiculously high by my standards, then it's likely if I have another pizza, which this one's called the Mafia, if I have another pizza, it's probably going to be a 7 or 8 out of 10. I don't know, so I'm going to try this now. It's cool a little. So this is a Mafia pizza, but... Of added prawns and olives. Freshness still eight out of ten. Mm. Taste. Six and a half out of ten so far. Mm. Which is pretty fucking high by my standards. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, this is a better piece. This is a whopper of a piece. Evenly balanced. The right flavours at the right time. I can't say 7 out of 10. I want to give it 7 out of 10 because of the freshness and the service, but... It could get a 7 out of 10. Between, it's somewhere between six and a half and seven out of ten. This pizza, because it's, it's a tastier pizza than the one I chose last time. Freshness still about the same, eight out of ten. So it's among the highest. For taste, Ronnie's Pizza and Enrico's Pizza are what I've given the highest ratings in my lifetime, 
Enrico's pizza gets about a nine, nine and a half out of ten. Ronnie's pizza gets an eight and a half, nine out of ten. They're the highest ratings ever. To give you perspective, I give Domino's and Pizza Hut like a one or one and a half out of ten. And even though I give them such high taste ratings, the freshness of Enrico's pizza was probably about a seven, seven and a half out of ten. And the freshness of Ronnie's pizza is probably five and a half, six out of ten. So it's lower in freshness, still acceptable, still fresh, but much lower than this. This is eight out of ten in freshness, so higher than Enrico's and higher than uh, Ronnie's. Fuck yeah, so that's Ronnie's pizza in Blacktown. He's been making pizza for about 40 years. Fucking best pizza, best tasting pizza you get in Sydney. Um, Enrico's pizza was even better while it was open, just by a little bit. But he's no longer open. And when I mean Enrico's pizza was better, only by like half a percent. But it was still worth it. It's wood, it his pizza was wood fire. Whereas Ronnie, he's just been making oven pizza for 30, 40 years. And he just makes it better than anybody. Wood fire or no wood fire. <laughs> he's the fucking best. Best in the business. So, again, I'm really impressed with this Mount of pizza. I don't usually YouTube pizzas. I usually YouTube my own, my food. But this is worth it. Absolutely worth it. Eight, eight out of ten in freshness the second time, as was the first. But this one gets about six and a half, between six and a half and seven out of ten in taste, which is two behind Ronnie. Uh, yeah, about two behind Ronnie's. Somewhere there, thereabout. So it's doing pretty fucking good in my books. There aren't too many pizza places in Sydney that I'll give a six, between a six and, a half, six and a half and seven out of ten. So whenever you go to those fancy pizza restaurants in the city... <laughs> I'll usually give them between four and a half and five and a half out of ten. Six max. So this is getting six and a half, seven. So that's fucking good pizza. Fucking great pizza. Mm. Mm. Good stuff. Mm -mm. Worth going to drive for a drive to Sun Ives, that's for sure. Mm. This will probably be the last night I'm here. Maybe, considering that tomorrow I plan to go haywire, making money. So, <laughs> I'll enjoy this pizza. Definitely worth a drive. So if you're one of those people who have a nice car, nothing wrong with that if that's your thing. Just not my thing. If you're one of those people who have a nice car and like to go for a drive with your missus or your mates and look for a nice shop to eat, I'll always tell you to go to Euro, the Euros place in Newtown, or near Newtown. I think it's just one suburb before Newtown. Victoria Euros. Best Greek Euros. But besides that, I'll say this is worth visiting. Definitely worth visiting. I don't give people fucking directives unless they're fucking worth it. Definitely worth it. <laughs>